What is up, players? It is War Boss Tay. Welcome to another unboxing and showcase video, this time for the Forge World Contemptor Pattern Power Fist. It's the Power Fist for the uh, Contemptor Pattern Dreadnought by Forge World. It's in all these pieces are in resin. And uh, you get three tabs. The first one I'm going to show you are the four fingers, as well as uh, the canister for the flamer attachment and the ammo box for the bolter attachment. I think twin bolters. So you're going to choose one or the other to go into the palm of the power fist. It's really a fantastic concept. I love the idea. This big meaty like Mega Man kind of arm power fist with the uh, that's the, like the the <laughs> the part that the inner gun is going to go into. The uh, hand attachment where all of the fingers are going to slot into the, the different holes there. And uh, like always, you get the shoulder attachment, or the shoulder section, rather. So you're going to be putting the um, hand there onto, slotting that into the fist. And within the center of the palm, you're going to have one of these two weapon attachments. That piece on the end is the joint that's going to... Uh, let you angle your power fist up or down and you can see th there's a flamer attachment and the twin linked bolters that little piece on the end is actually the elbow for depending on you know how much you decide to uh, how severe of an angle you put your power fist at i've already built up one of these i've got two of them you can put your uh, you can see i put my elbow right there at that angle the elbow joint and i placed the flamer so that the fingers are open like the hand is open and grasping and the flamer is right at the center and uh, i did it like facing vertically when i decided to do the heavy bolter i did it a little bit different where the hand is actually horizontally placed so here i'm testing the fit for my uh, my magnet there it looks pretty good and um it's when i was building up the second one that I decided oh, I'm gonna kind of change the angle on the fingers. It really means that I can only place the hand on the left, but I think it makes a great variety. I don't want the model to look the same. If I don't want the pieces to look the same, rather. Now these are this is before I've done the weathering for both of these pieces. I haven't done the chipping or the um, the weathering steel legion drab in the joints, but I have done the the basic painting and uh, just to show you what it looks like like always i've got the uh, elbow joint in lead belcher silver and i have picked out the skulls on the knuckles as well as the nozzle and the uh, flamer banding to paint in gold in this case baltazar gold and here you can see what i meant by the twin linked bolter although the bolters are placed side by side horizontally i placed the hand um, so that the fingers open are on like the left, if that makes any sense. So I kind of in my head imagine that the hand kind of rotates on the actual uh, fist part so that uh, the fingers can kind of have a range of motion. And so I'm showing that off by having the flamer hand be open with the fingers vertically above and the uh, grasping twin linked bolter hand to be have the fingers like on the on the side of it so here you can see what i mean with the flamer arm going in and the bolter arm going in and the fingers are at uh, different angles i hope you enjoyed it i always think that it's really important to be creative with your placement and your posing because uh, the way you pose a model is so important to how it looks you want it to have a great outline and uh, so I want to show you what I mean by I can't really place the twin linked bolter hand on the left because now it looks like the hand is twisted all the way around the fingers. Rather, the thumb should either be on the inside or at the bottom. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun painting up this weapon option. Um, it, it's fun for me to pick out where the different colors are going to be, like this, the darker gray of the actual power fist part that matches the shoulder pads um, and the knee pads. I, I love figuring out where on the model I'm going to paint the lighter and the darker areas and which parts I'm going to pick out in metallics, like the gold and the silver is very important. You don't want to do too much of any one color and 
Um, I guess that's my little tip of the day. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're enjoying my series of Contemptor weapons options. Leave a comment down below and thanks for watching.